Hello everyone, are you aware what a domino ID vault is and how its core functions? If not, then this video will help you to understand the concept very well. ID vault is one of the security feature of domino. It is a server-based database that acts as a repository which stores the protected copies of the node's user IDs. You can create and configure an ID vault using a domino administrator client in the Domino Administrator client, we do have the Tools pane. Under the Tools pane, we have a section for ID Vault. Under that, we have the option to create and manage an ID Vault. We go ahead with the Create option, and this widget automatically does create a ID Vault database onto the server in the custom .nsf format. And while we create this ID Vault, we really need to provide certain inputs to it, like we need to specify one or more vault administrator. A vault administrator is a person who is who is going to do any kind of changes to the vault on requirement. It's it's overall the administrator um, responsibility for the ID vault. And then we go ahead and specify the organization which is going to trust this vault. That means the certifiers which will be used to trust this ID vault and the ID vault is provided with a trust certificate uh, inherited from this organization. Then we go ahead and specify a password reset authority. That means the administrator or the user who will have the capability to reset the password for the ID files available in the vault. And finally, we do have a security policy here into picture because all the ID vault settings, uh, it gets applied to the end user's nodes client through the security policy and because of this policy enablement the id file gets uploaded from the local end user system uh, to the id vault and even the sync happens between the client id file and the vault id file because of the security policy how exactly the id vault core functions the first stage is id file provisioning or the deployment where we discuss about how exactly we create and configure a id vault and how we apply the id id vault enablement uh, information or the settings to the nodes client using a security policy in the second stage we talk about the functionality where it starts collecting the id files from the local system that is once the security policy is applied uh, the nodes id file copy from the local system now gets uploaded to the id vault database that is available on the server and it stays in a protected format over there in the third stage we talk about the synchronization of this id file that is once the id file is uploaded to the vault after that at a certain regular interval of time a synchronization happens between the id file copies that is available on the local system and the one which got uploaded to the vault so that in case of any changes to the password or certificates they both remain in a synchronized state and now we speak about the functionality where a password reset authority can go ahead and do a password reset for any of the id files available in the vault at any point of time as per the requirement and finally we do talk about the functionality where uh, we can extract id file of the end user from the vault upon a requirement or even there are certain uh, cases where we go ahead with the configuration of nodes client for an end user we really don't need to carry a physical copy of the id file with with us rather when we go for configuration and we connect to the server that takes care of downloading the id file copy from the vault and completes the configuration 